I have been a part of United Methodist Churches since I can remember. My parents took me to the United Methodist Church in Highland Heights, Asbury United Methodist, and when we moved to Alexandria, the one there, and that's the church from which I came into the ministry, and I've served in the Kentucky Conference, the Louisville Conference, and in the Kentucky Conference after the two conferences merged, so I've had the privilege of serving in all three conferences, and I look forward to continuing in United Methodism as God leads me into new opportunities and opens new doors for my wife and I. My calling to ordained ministry in the United Methodist Church occurred when I was teaching public school in Oldham County Schools. I attended Louisville Presbyterian Seminary and the University of Louisville Kent School of Social Work for my training in marriage and family therapy. I believe that the gospel that Jesus presents to us is a gospel of healing, physical, emotional, spiritual healing. My ministry has focused on healing. I work with people who have exper are experiencing addictions, living in abusive relationships, have experienced abuse throughout their life. My goal in ministry is to work with people so that they too can experience the transformation that is possible through belief in Jesus Christ and the message of the gospel. In my retirement, I will work with churches and pastors in Indiana on improving church leadership and work in churches and communities on the opioid epidemic. After 32 years of pastoral ministry, my hair has turned gray and it has turned loose. I've also gained a few pounds from having eaten from too many good church cooks. Wanda and I'd like to thank the Kentucky and Indiana Annual Conferences for the appointments we have received over the past 32 years. We've transferred to Kentucky in 2008 from Indiana and thankful for these past 10 years of meeting new people in new places and I'm glad I haven't had to listen to Indiana basketball fans because I'm a big blue fan. In retirement, Wanda and I plan on traveling. We plan on finding new opportunities for ministry and having opportunities to spoil grandchildren. Greeting friends of the Kentucky Annual Conference. First, let me thank God for his many blessings and challenges through the years. God and the church has been so good to me and my family. It's been a joy to serve Jesus Christ. I've worked in the church since high school and have worn many hats in my ministry. Church janitor, youth director, assistant to the minister, conference youth coordinator, program director and Christian educator, camp director, trail guide, counselor, mentor, coach, husband, father. Of course, my passion is camping and retreat ministry. 24 great years at Aldersgate and four more in Alabama as executive director of Sumatanga. Now that I'm officially retiring, what hat is next? Well, I certainly enjoy my many projects in the shop, gardening, and the very important role of supporting Debbie and her ministry and traveling with her across the globe. I've even been introduced as the bishop's wife, twice. Kentucky, you will always have a place in my heart. But now in Alabama, roll tide. First, I'd like to thank God for calling me into the ministry. And I want to thank the United Methodist Church or give me an opportunity to uh, proclaim the gospel of Jesus Christ. And I want to thank all the faithful ministers that were there to encourage me along the way. I thank God for all my children and all my grandchildren. But especially, I want to thank God for my beautiful loving wife, Wanda, uh, who stood by my side in ministry and God has really blessed me. Thank you. I am honored and blessed to be with you today and to reach this milestone in my life. It began in 1973 in my first appointment in March of that year and concludes now uh, in June of 2018. I am thankful and blessed by God in many ways 
and I'm grateful for my family that has shown great love and support for me. Without that love and support, I would not be here today. Thank him for the opportunity to serve many families across this state and trust that together we will continue our journey toward heaven. It was upon the word of God uh, that I stood in 1971 when he brought me into a relationship with him and it's his word that I share with you as I leave. John 3:16. for God so loved the world and because of his love he gave his only begotten son for the purpose of saving all who would believe in him from perishing and providing for us eternal life. May God bless you and I'll see you at the beach.